Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, Apple has finally released a new update for Yosemite version 10, which did which is actually their new operating system that they introduced to everyone at the WWDC conference uh, that was held about two weeks ago. I'm super I'm super soaked about them actually pushing out a new update to developers. Again, this is only for developers. Uh, I haven't heard too much of what's new with the new operating system, so I'm gonna push it out and uh, let's see how big is the operating system. It does require a restart. So I'm gonna do a download and restart. And it's about 1.16 gigs of size. What a huge update for the very first update for Yosemite. So I'm gonna let this run, and then once it's completed, I'm gonna let's we're gonna go inside and check out what's new. And we're back. Yes, finally the update is pushed out. About 1.92 gigs took about 15 to 20 minutes on my network, but most likely if you have a faster connection, it will work faster. Uh, some of the things that I noticed with the new update is um, I, I think it kind of improved the speed of my machine. Uh, no indication that the update was pushed out. The only indication is if you go to the app store, you will see it here. But I'm kind of surprised. They normally do by builds. But there's no build indication that it was pushed out. I know there's a build number somewhere, but I'm kind of surprised that they didn't tag it here. They normally tag it right there, that build, blah, blah, blah. So, kind of shocked that they haven't done that. But again, it's it's a beta, it's still working. Uh, photo, photo booth app was added. I know, guys, yeah, I know when I did the review for you guys for Yosemite, uh, I was kind of whining and bitching about it. But again, it's one of those apps that it's entertaining for my kids. So that's why I was kind of, you know, upset that it wasn't there. Um, so I'm happy that's there. I have to test that out. And another thing that I, I kind of noticed with the new update is Launchpad is now populated or pre-populated with apps. This wasn't like this on the old operating system, which is pretty awesome. Uh, kind of strange that my Final Cut is still with the X, but when I go into my Launchpad, it looks okay. And I'm going to go and I'm still inside my application folder, but if I go to my Final Cut, it's still the same. But whatever, uh, Firefox, like the icon has disappeared. I still got to play around with it to see what's broken and what's not broken. Uh, so I want to see something. I want to see if the new update brought out the dark mode. Uh, if it didn't bring dark mode, that kind of sucks. I think it's still in the works. I did hear that someone found a terminal command to bring the dark mode up and running. So. If I could find that out, I'll do video for you guys to show you how that works out. But again, you go into general, and uh, as it's the same, nothing's changed. They don't have anything brand new, but whatever. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this quick update, a Mac update that you know Apple has released a new update for Yosemite. Uh, again, the only two things that I noticed off back would be photo photo booth was brought back and launch pad looks like it was pre-populated with apps, which I know on the old on the old update they didn't have that. So I'm kind of surprised on that. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully you guys enjoy this update. If you are testing out the developers part and you updated to a new version and you found something new, please leave it at the bottom of the comment section and let me know what's up because I'm always willing to learn from you guys and I catch you guys on the next Mac update. Peace out.